Hey everybody, Anne here, and I am back at the lake that something kind of weird happened at a few weeks ago. But, you know what, I called the people, and it seems it's a total misunderstanding. Um, there was just a situation with the dogs. It seemed like they didn't want me and my beloved Betty here. <laughs> because every time one of them would pull up to my camp, they'd their dogs were, would just run loose. They'd come out on my camp. And, um, oh God, it's just so pretty outside. Uh, their dogs would just run loose, and I keep mine tethered. Uh, she's pit bull, I'm not going to let her run loose. But every other person's dog here runs loose. Oh, and here's the view out my front window. My goodness, I need to clean that area. That's going to be my project. Anyhow, um, so it, there were a couple of them that drove by that, uh, like, released their dogs from their vehicles right when they came to my camp. So, and one of them was a big, huge German Shepherd. So, I'm not really sure, you know, maybe I'm imagining things, I don't know. Um, but, you know what, I called them and they said, oh, no, 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 everything's fine, come on out. Um, and I, I asked if I could pull down a little bit further, and I did. The last time I camped, uh, right, let's see, where's my finger? There it is right in between those trees over there but I pulled further down I can't pull any further down because way down there the road is overran by the lake and um, basically it's just flooded back there it's too damp I actually tried to pull down a few more um, spots and I basically got stuck and I kind of rutted the grass and they take real good care of the grass here so um, and oh gosh, maybe maybe later I can go go down there and see um, there was carp that were being flushed to the lake overrun, and it's like it was a river. It's like they were trying to. Oh, they're still down there. I can see. You may not be able to see, but I can see. Um, they keep getting pushed over into the marsh, and they kept trying to swim back in the lake. And I'm like, oh my god, I wanna I wanna go save them, <laughs> rescue the carp, carp as big as my arm. Um, too bad they're not that good to eat because I would have just scooped one of them up. I could have just bent down and picked it up. In fact, I might go down there in a little bit and see if I can, um, if they're still doing what they were doing. But anyhow, um, so yeah, it was the dogs and I thought that they maybe didn't want me here because my dog would bark every time. And uh, they said, no, 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 come on down. And one of the ladies who camps here regular came to see me. Stop. She had her dog. I had to put my dog up because my dog would have killed her dog. There's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. I gotta, I gotta figure that out why she's doing that, because she didn't used to do that. And uh, yeah, she, so we talked for a little while. She stayed here. We, we chatted. She used to be a truck driver, and I told her I'm thinking about doing that. And, um, so anyhow, yeah, I'm at this lake again, and I'm gonna, I might film a little bit more out here, show you what it's like. Um, and I've been working on the van, too. It really probably doesn't look too different to you, but, um, those walls I went ahead and covered up with the same color of, you know, um, drape. And, um, it may not make a difference to you, but it does to me. Got a new comforter. I used one of the pillow shams to do, to make a little thing over this. This is now over here. Oh, that's my chocolate wine. Yum. That is my desktop computer that I'm going to be getting rid of. Um, I need to wipe the hard drive and whatnot. And um, yeah, this area back here. Hmm, I wish I could come. Can I zoom out? No. Uh, anyhow, it probably doesn't look good to you or doesn't look all that different to you, but it is different to me and I like it And because uh, I don't have to see the reflectix. Yeah, that's an important one. Um, so, it's just so comfortable. I did get another, that's new. Um, it's Everything's a mess in here. I've, I've been working in, one of these days I'm going to be able to say, it's not a mess. So, I'm kind of getting an idea of what I like and what I don't like and what I need and don't need. I need so much less than I have. Um, anyhow, yeah, that's it. That's what my little van looks like now. Betty is tired as heck because she spent about 20 minutes the entire time I was talking to that other camper um, in the van barking her head off so she's exhausted. 
it's, it was funny. Anyways, uh, yeah, that just goes to show you again, show me that I need to just kind of, I need to just kind of chill out, you know, just chill and not worry so much. I worry, I worry so much. and I'm always afraid something bad is going to happen. So I'm just going to chill for the next couple, two, three days here watch some birds. Maybe I can get you some cool footage other than this boring stuff I'm showing you right now. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, remember when I was telling you, oh, see, there they are. They're right by the shore. Big, huge carp. Wait till you see this. I feel sorry for him. See these ones? Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see down in there. But can you see how big they are? Holy Mary, Mother of God. They're so big. Oh my goodness. See now, this whole area just kind of floods back here when it rains a whole bunch. And look at, there's a carp right over there. Let's see if we can zoom in. See that guy, that big guy, he's totally stranded. There's a ton of them that are stranded back there. Oh, you can't see them anymore. They don't seem too unhappy. They will once this, uh, this whole marsh starts draining. God, it looks so cool back in there. But normally that you could walk through all this right here. But, okay, let's see what's going on with these little guys. Big guys over here. Hold on a second. Here it is. See? This is like a total river. See all those poor little carpies back there? Big carps. <laughs> they're huge. God, it seems like it's draining even more. See, look at they're trying so hard. They're trying so hard to get back in the lake. There's an absolute ton of them. Look. Oh, good. One made it. You can do it, fishies. You can do it. Go, go. I'm giving them incentive. Yeah. Right on. I'm rescuing the carp. <laughs> There's one big one over there that's not moving too much. Oh, my goodness. Almost all of them have made it back into the lake. But you know what? They're going to they're gonna keep struggling all day and night until this is basically over with. Aw, looks like there's a dead carp over there. But yeah, they're all getting back into this area, back in here, and um, yeah, there's there's some swimming back there. I don't know if you can see them. It's about yeah. Phew. But yeah, so it gets kind of overflown. They got lots of other fish here too. So hopefully tomorrow it won't be raining the whole time, and I'll be able to do some fishing. But I rescued the carp. <laughs> you know what I told the owners and they're like, um, that's okay. They'll be fertilizer for the field. <laughs> you know what? It's a circle of life. That's just the way that it goes. But anyhow, it just is so cool out here. Guys, I'm super excited. I was just taking a little walk looking for mushrooms. And really what I was doing is just looking all along, you know, because I can't really get back there. It's too thick. But, guess what? Would you take a look at this? Oh. My Lord. Holy sh... I found one. I actually found one. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick it. And I am going to freaking eat it with my steak. Yes. Leave it, guys. God, I gotta get some moisturizer for my hands. Take a look at this beauty. Well, it's not in focus. That's all right. And this is what I'm doing with the mushroom. I just cut it down the middle, uh, made sure all the bugs were out, having a few little potatoes and some steak. Mm -mm -mm. This camping trip is so perfect, except for the rain. Except for the freaking rain. Anyway, yeah, I went foraging and I found a moral mushroom. Or is it morel? Morel or moral? You tell me. 
And I forgot to tell you, this is a new addition to my van life gear. A little fan. It is a USB fan. And I've got it hooked up to this Kodak power bank that I got at uh, a closeout store. And this thing lasts forever. I swear, I just love it, love it, love it. I got another one from Walmart. And it's this one by On ONN. And uh, this is not that good. Seriously, this cost probably twice as much and this lasts for a long time so yeah that's just how I'm gonna power power that for now my solar is finally up over 12 thank you if I could get it to 12.6 I would be super happy now when um, it stops charging it's automatically gonna go down a little bit but I don't know why it does that can anybody explain to me that when it's not charging how it automatically just goes down I don't know. I don't know. I need to study up, like I said before. I just haven't had time. So yeah, I got me a little fan. Cool. Okay, I don't know if you could hear this, but um, the sun has set. I think that's a frog. I know they got frogs out here. Big old frogs. They got turtles. They've got all, they've got all kinds of birds. But finally, the lake is totally still. I'm almost tempted to go fishing tonight. I've been fishing all day, and you know what? I had one bite, and that's it. But it is very peaceful. It's beautiful out here. Oh my god. <clears throat> I just ate. I just ate the most wonderful steak. I need to quit eating so much steak. Seriously. It's bad for you, right? I don't care. Oh, it's so peaceful out here. I love it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all have a good one.